Last Sunday, we asked the question whether a controversial billboard overlooking downtown Pittsburgh from Mount Washington is a sign of the times or a sign of political divide. That debate continues this Sunday morning over the presence of Lamar Advertising's large vinyl covered billboard that advertises Sprint. Last Sunday, former Allegheny County Commissioner Mike DeWita, the executive director of Scenic Pittsburgh, and the organization's assistant director, Dave Demko, told us that the Sprint sign devalues the property and is a distraction for drivers. They added that the billboard does not conform to the use that was originally intended for this site. Well, joining us this morning on the Sunday Business Page is the attorney who represents Lamar Advertising, Jonathan Kamen, who is with the law firm of Goldberg, Kamen & Garvin. His client has a very different view of this issue, of course. Jonathan, welcome to the show. It's good to have you. Thank here. you for having me, John. Yeah. Appreciate it. Now, so let's sort of revisit this issue of the billboard on Mount Washington. Lamar Advertising owns that sign, that location, that spot. Sure, we've owned it actually since uh, our predecessor, since really the 30s, uh, have, have utilized that board. Uh, folks may remember it as the Bayer board, but it was also originally uh, an Alcoa board and an Iron City billboard. Uh, and, and again, we have pictures that go back 80 plus years of using that sign for advertising purposes. So there's always been a sign of some sort on Mount Washington. That's correct. That's correct. And, and what's up there now is merely a continuation of what's existed for over eight decades. But would you agree with me that a yellow vinyl billboard is kind of ugly? Well, no, but let's go back and talk a little bit about the history on this. Okay. So many years ago, we went to the city and said, we'd like to go ahead and renovate this board. Uh, it was beyond sort of its useful life in terms of electronics. Uh, we worked with groups on Mount Washington. We worked with groups on the north side to sort of develop a consensus as to what this new board would look like. And what came out of that was something called Plexi Neon Technology, which would look exactly like the board that was up there that uh, everybody was familiar with for years. Going back to, say, Bayer. Going back to Bayer, correct. Right. right. So that billboard was, you say, approved by folks in the neighborhood? Sure. Well, it was actually a, a multi-neighborhood project. We started with the groups of Mount Washington, met with their CDC, met with the folks along uh, Grandview, and then also there was a, a concerted effort to deal with the folks on the north side uh, because they actually do see it the most. Sure, they're looking up at it. They're looking up at it. So we arrived at really a consensus as to what it would look like, and it, it was going to mirror sort of the iconic board that was there before. So why isn't that there? Well, we ran into a, a couple of uh, roadblocks at city, uh, city government and city planning. Uh, specifically, they were looking to regulate content on the board uh, and to also regulate the messages that could be utilized for that board. So isn't that a First Amendment question right off the bat? Sure. Well, there, government's not supposed to get in the middle of messaging. Right. There are a couple of amendments. There's the First Amendment. There's the question of our ability and our right to utilize our property uh, and to have government not involved in that way. Right. And uh, rather than fight, we decided to go ahead and to put up a different message until everything could be worked out with the city. So are you in the process of trying to work things out? I mean, what is the message that the city wanted? They didn't like your message? Well, the city only wanted a logo up there. They didn't want us to ability to message the sign, uh, which is similar to the, we've messaged it, you know, honestly, for probably 60 plus years. There's been messages up there, uh, civic messages, community messages, advertising messages, all of those messages have been up there, and we wanted to basically have the same functionality that we've had for the last 60 plus years. So, is there are we any closer to resolution of this? Well, we're in litigation, and uh, that is currently before the Court of Common Pleas. Uh, there's an argument scheduled for two weeks from now, right. and uh, we're hopeful that we'll get a decision that will reaffirm our right to use the board and, and honestly be able to generate a better product for all of Pittsburgh. Right. Of course, former County Commissioner Mike DeWita, who was on the show from Scene of Pittsburgh, he doesn't want any sign at all up there. Right. Well, Mike's a, a paid advocate. You know, Mike is, is hired by Scene of Pittsburgh, and uh, we're happy to give Mike something to do. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, he says, he says good things about you, too, John. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so let me ask you about the notion of a Hollywood type sign. I saw that out there that instead of Hollywood, it would say Pittsburgh, kind of big lettering across. Mount Washington. Would that be a possibility? Well, we, we had been in some discussions uh, a couple years ago with the city about actually 
uh, in sort of a global settlement of all of our litigation with the city, uh, donating the sign to the city, and the city could use it for the purposes that they wanted. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, the city didn't have any interest in that, so we've continued to use it as a billboard. But again, it goes back to the First Amendment, which is our ability to utilize our property to communicate and to ha engage in protected speech. And until we've reached a deal to do something other than that, we're going to continue to exercise our First Amendment rights. I suppose the city could condemn it and take it, give you fair market value for that, and well, just keep it empty. Well, I think that would be a very expensive proposition. Uh, but you know, even more so, if they're talking about an appropriate use of city tax dollars, I think there are a lot of better things that the city could use its money on, you know, water, roads, bridges, um, education, things that matter as opposed to going ahead and sure. serving some special interests. So the bottom line is that things are on hold for the next two weeks, waiting for a court decision that could help resolve this one way or the other. That's correct. Jonathan Kamen, always good to have you Great on the show. To Thank you. you so much for coming in and sharing your perspective with us. We much appreciate it. Thanks for having Thank me, you. John. We'll be back with more of the Sunday Business Page in just a few moments. Stick with us.